people don't understand and that is light is your friend and your enemy when you're doing injections and let me explain so also position so patients always have to be sitting in a chair always they can have vasovagal syncope and pass out and if they lie down the wrinkles fall away so the patient always has to be sitting in a chair i go over this 100 times in the class number two the patient's face is always evaluated in the true anatomical position when i submitted the pictures for the juvederm fda approval uh, the fda required me to have the face on metal prongs so that the face was always in the anatomical position the wrinkles and the folds of the face changes based on the verticality of the face, whether it's up or down. And so this is the neutral position where the chin is parallel to the ground. So when we evaluate her in too much light, it can bleach out the wrinkles. That's why in my room, I have the light over there and I have the dark. I always inject in a little bit of darkness. So I turn the patient, you see now as it gets darker, now you can see some of more fine lines. I have never seen a doctor think of this. I've, a lot of my friends are plastic surgeons and injectors. No one thinks about, I mean, they have their, you know, the sunlight coming into the room. You can't have sunlight. Sunlight is, you know, cheating. You want to evaluate the patient's fine lines and wrinkles in shadows, in the shadows where you can pick up these fine lines and wrinkles. No one talks about that, drives me crazy. So now in the shadows, we can still see some more fine lines and wrinkles. We're still gonna go after these a little bit. All these extra things makes a difference, makes a difference between a great injector and an average injector. You see? So that's it. That's, that's about 80% smoother. Now, what we did now is we created the zygomatic arches and what she's missing a little bit, bring your chin down, okay, is the bottom point here. Remember, a beautiful face is a triangular face. So if we look over here, all these beautiful people have prominence, 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 prominence. The three-point promontory is the most important rule in facial beauty. And so for her, we're gonna finish, because we gave her the beautiful zygomatic arches. And so now we're gonna finish the three-point promontory and we're gonna get her a little bit more symmetrical. She has that little indentation there that you can pick up in the shadows. If she was in bright light, or if I had sunlight coming into the room, you'd miss that irregularity there. But I see it because I work in the shadows to pick up fine imperfections. So first, we're gonna get rid of this imperfection here. like that. Now we're going to give her the proper projection such that, chin down, see she has a strong maxilla, she has an overbite. And so the rule is that the mandible should be straight down from the maxilla. Hers is a little microagnathic. You see that little bit of white wall showing? So this needs to come out just a little bit to match this rule. So if you look there, it says facial planes. You see there, over here? Yeah. So you see the forehead, the glabella, the maxilla, and the mandible all line up in a straight line. You see that vertical facial plane? So that's it here. Forehead, glabella, maxilla, and the mandible should all line up in the vertical line. So to do that, we're gonna put a little bit of filler here. Now in the anterior posterior plane, what that does is it finishes a three-point promontory. It finishes the beautiful triangle of the face. So here we go. You just go in vertically, you push and you pull out, you push and you pull out. Not too deep, otherwise you're gonna be wasting it. See, I'm pretty superficial because I don't wanna waste her filler, it's expensive. See now, see just a little bit. See now that little bit of filler here. See, that little bit of filler finishes the triangle. It finishes the triangle. It also makes her face look a little shorter, which in this patient you want to do. So pressure stops bleeding. So 
a little bit of pressure. But if you look here, you see, can you hold that for me, please? Yes. So this is something that's always overlooked in injecting. It drives me crazy. This is one of the most important parts of finishing the Triangle of Beauty. A little bit of projection here in the mandible so that it lines up with the maxilla to complete the triangle, to complete the triangle, to complete the triangle. See, this completes the triangle. See that right there? That completes the triangle. And without that, you've done a very big in service to the patient because you have not given them the three-point promontory of beauty. So always consider the bottom portion of the triangle, which is the mandibular ridge right here. So that's what is so important you can do with fillers. You can create the three-point promontory, the uh, upside-down triangle of beauty. I'm Dr. Kojin. Thank you.